Hello, my name is King Masera and welcome to another video. For today, we're going to do something new. My very first tutorial. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe as that really helps a lot. And let's get on with the video. So I know you may be thinking, why do we need to ruin our builds and all that? Well, in context, it might not sound that great, but basically, some people want to basically show history of builds. So, the best way to do that is to make the builds into runes. If, if, if you really want to know. Now, how do we do this? Well, we could take some parts of the build and put it down. Why is that? Oh. oh yeah. Basically we could take a whole part of the build and basically remove it from here and then place it down a little bit further. And basically, we basically do this, if we do that. And we could also do something like that. Now we could also do like a big huge hole in like the very top. So to, yeah. Basically what I did. Oh wait. And basically it looks like that something came in and crashed into here. And yeah. Basically the destroyed parts of it. Let's do a little bit more, and I'll probably put it in a time lapse. Okay, so here's a time lapse. So basically in that time lapse, I also decided to do this with the pillars because when pillars get old, they're probably not going to stay upright for very long. They're probably going to go and probably crumble down into little bits. And I think to add extra bits, we could have some pillars where it just broke off. So, the way we could do this is by doing this. Simply adding like a stair or something to basically show that it basically broke off. If you were to say. Now, let's say that this build, let's say that this historic building was also quite overgrown. What we could do is add some little vines. Now of course the outside does not have to be all destroyed. It can also go on the inside. So what we could do is like, like this. basically do some gaping holes like this. I forgot to include this in the time lapse, but it has the same trick in mind. Yeah. Okay, let's say that the growing started in here. 
Now what we could do is we could have like the plants growing from the outside, inside, or the inside, outside. If you know what I mean. So if we're going for outside, we might want to do this. And it cannot be uniform. It has to be randomized. Because that's what natural. Basically, if we're going for the outside, it has to be completely covered. gonna put this into another time lapse of me doing this. So time lapse in ein, zwei und Okay, so another thing we can do is show a bit of decay. So like some parts of the structure have decayed a bit. So what we could do is by getting something that looks very similar to like the, you know, the surrounding stone, but just make it a little bit more pronounced, if you want to say. So like for the diorite floor, we could take the unpolished kind and just like, you know, put some here. Basically, it has to show its evolution through time. Add those back in. Now, of course, there are some blocks you can't exactly make decayed. Like, there isn't like a chiseled, there isn't like a cracked quartz bricks or something like that, so we have to basically improvise on that. But let's continue doing this until it looks all uniform. Uniformly ruined. you have to take, if you're using like a polished version of something, you might want to basically take the unpolished version and mix it in with the polished version so it looks old. Um, but yeah, basically that's it. I'll continue doing this for like the rest of the way and I'll come back when I'm ready. Okay. Alright, so I've done the whole thing around. But I also decided to take some sandstone slabs and basically mix it in with the sandstone just to kind of make it look a little bit more ruined. Now, of course, it isn't perfect. Then again, what is perfect? Now, also, what we could do is show that the dark oak wood here has decayed a tiny bit and lost its color. So, what we could do is come in here with like spruce wood, basically use it all around. Now of course this is not what we're only going to do here, we're also going to, hmm, now that's a statue of something from long ago, 
Really? Nice statue. Just a really, really nice statue. I totally didn't do something on that. That made that come, become a thing. Yeah, totally, I didn't just put my head on a statue and pretend like it was a god or something. Totally not what I did. Totally not. But yeah, we basically take the different versions of something and place it in. Now, of course, it looks a bit gross. But then, again, that's kind of the point. When something decays, not exactly the nicest thing in the world. But yeah, we basically come in with like little bits of puzzle. Basically, try to make this look decayed as possible. Now, I think this is a better thing to decay than the other things because it actually has a whole lot of brown blocks. But yeah, basically go through like that. And then let's say some like grass decided to grow in while I was there. So like some grass. say some foliage decided to grow in. So we take some bone mail and just like randomly do some foliage around. See? Just like that. We could also do it on the outside of the belt as well. Basically surround it fully with randomly growing things. Now, if we are going to do this, we might want to remove the tall grass, but in this video, I won't do that. And just like that, we've got a bit of foliage growing around. Now, let's also say <coughs> that some poisonous mushrooms came and grown in. So, take some, like, like crimson, fungus, and all that. Warped fungus. Basically place it all around. Because, well, when something's decaying, usually some type of fungus comes in. It's not all grass and stuff. And let's also say there was some vines that grew. Basically, we just randomly just click through, place it all around. And it basically just gives a feel that this has been here in a long time. In fact, long enough to have something growing on it. There's a whole lot more blocks, but this is in 1.16.5, so this is definitely not carrying one of those blocks. And the only mod I have on here is my doctor button, that's pretty much it. Basically, place it all around. I didn't exactly show this, but you can also go in with like slabs and 
stairs to like basically make it look as if some bricks were taken out during this whole time. Or maybe some bricks decayed or something. Basically go all around with this. Just basically just place this in. Yes, I did use smithing tables for the ceiling of this temple. Well, it's a Greek style temple. It's not exactly a Greek temple. But it's a Greek style. But kind of made into my own style of building. Basically place it all around like this. And to kind of shorten the length of this video, I'll stop recording for now, so I'll show you later. Now of course in any ruin build, spiders have had to come in at some point, so we could also go in with like cobwebs. Basically place it all around. Try not to get into it. And yeah, let's also say that some vines grew. Well, not vines, but bamboo. It's a little bit random, but it also showcases the effect that this has been here for a very long time. Just like, place it randomly around in the build. And of course, the last effect we're gonna do, well, if something's been around for a long time, people probably have not been around to take care of it. So, obviously in a ruined build, there wouldn't be a, you know, there wouldn't be a fire lit up, so, yeah. Basically, it's pretty much the tutorial. Now, of course, you can do your own additions, like maybe something else. But that's pretty much all I have time for. Thank you for watching this video. I really enjoyed making it. It's my very first tutorial. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!